Okay guys, I feel I've done enough blocking in now, so I'm going to start adding some tonal glazes on the sky, the distant hills, fields, and then work my way down in the foreground. I just have a lot of final detail work to do. Some highlights on the edges of the gates and the gate posts, the walls, some low light shadows and a little more grass, some greens, of, uh, blades of grass, blades, around this area, tidy up this shadow work. And then on the straw grass, I'll be doing highlights and low lights on the straw grass to give it some definition. When we're starting the sky, or on the hills, let's Let's do a glaze on the hills. And all I'm going to do is add, I've got a little bit of champagne colour here. And I've got um, liquid impasto there. So I'm just making a thin wash base colour. Just a little bit of colour added to the impasto. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to brush this onto the hills in the distance. And the thing is, it'll stay wet for a while, so I can I can brush it off. But what this will do is it'll make the hills in the distance look azer. That's what I want. I want the distant tools to look washed out a little bit. That's enough, it's giving it a washed out tone there, like it's going out of focus in the distance, which is what I want. Not so much as it gets closer to the view. I think that'll be. that's just a simple glaze. I just added a pale colour mixed with liquid impasto and I just brushed it on to tone everything down. So it looks hazy now, those colours that were defined look hazy. Basically just a wash of colour. All right, we can do that in the sky. I want to add some lavender tones in the sky. So I'm going to do the same thing with lavender.
just going to work on some final detail in this area, the grass area, just to get some blades that actually are prominent. Have some blades going over the shadow area, break that shadow up. So guys we're almost there with this painting, all I've left to do is some tidy up work on the gate and the gate post and then add, add detail the, to the wheat grasses in the foreground, some darks and lights just to give them more definition instead of that one tone. So we're getting there, it's almost there. So I'm going to take a break now, it's getting close to dinner time for me so I'm going to switch off and I'll continue this in the morning and hopefully we'll get it wrapped up tomorrow. So stick around because the finishing will still be on this video that you're watching. Just the final detail work, just to sharpen up the gate, the posts, the latches and the wheatgrass. See you soon. Okay guys, I'm going to start adding some low lights and high lights to the straw grass on this side first and then we'll move to the opposite side of the canvas. Hi guys, the camera switched off just as I was doing the tones on the wheatgrass in the foreground to finish that off. Uh, but now it's done, um, I'm thinking thinking I can call this done, but I am going to let it dry. When it, when it becomes touch dry, I'll see how it looks then and uh, do a little bit of touch up if I think it needs it. But I'm going to consider this done, good enough for the end of this video showing stage two and three of turning this what was a crappy canvas print into a full-blown painting 
using that canvas print of the underpainting and doing a full blocking in layer over the top then a layer of details and then some glazing tonal glazing here and there so if you've stuck around followed this uh, video series to the end I really appreciate it and uh, the next one's going to be jumping back onto the honeymoon tree which again was a canvas print which came out just as bad as this a lot of reddish brown tones it's too dark patchy um, stage one's been done the video is available on my YouTube channel if you haven't seen it already I'll be getting back to that to do stages two and three blocking in all the details and then finishing it off with some fine detail work some tonal glazes here and there uh, so until that video guys oh just noticed I haven't signed the bottom right corner of this one yet so when it's touched dry I'll do that and then it'll be ready for uh, to let it dry for two three months and then we'll varnish it two thin layers of varnish all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you have and I'll see you with the honeymoon tree stages two and three cheers for now bye